It's crazy when you're talking temperatures starting off this morning in the 30s for our friends down in Florida. People are complaining, you know, uh, it's not typical for this time of the year down there. They're usually in the 50s and 60s. Right now, even 45 in Jacksonville, but they're not alone. I mean, they're with everybody else. Look at this big trough in the jet stream. That's a dip in it. 31 for New York, 35 in Washington. So pretty much the eastern two-thirds of the country. Pretty cold weather. Our TV station here in Freehold checking at 30 right now. 25 in Netcong and High Bridge. 30 over in the state capital over near Trenton. High pressures right on top of our region today. It's going to be moving off to the east. And as it does so, our winds are going to start to shift direction. And through the day tomorrow, you're going to notice some high clouds moving in. These aren't thick, dull, dark clouds, but they'll kind of give like a milky sunshine at times through the day. It's going to turn out to be a decent afternoon. At least our temperatures are going to start to come up and it'll feel more comfortable. 20 tonight, mainly clear starry skies, and we are heading in a better direction for sure. I'm thinking we get up to about uh, 39 or 40 on your Thursday. Plenty of sunshine and it's going to feel warmer because we've been around, what, 32 to 35 for highs over the past few days, 40 for most, north factor of an 8, and our sun is now going down at 5.05, so our days are getting longer. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at Nor'easter Nick. You can also go to our website, njnn.tv, for your latest local emphasis there on local political stories, news stories, and, of course, your forecast. Now, there's one thing I really want to focus in on. You're going to notice the rain icon is here on Saturday. We have a storm system that's really coming in a couple different pieces. We have one piece of energy coming in from the north, another coming in from the south, and they are going to essentially join forces right over our area. I believe that the onshore flow is going to be strong enough to allow for some tidal flooding. Why? Because we have an increased wave action. We actually have a storm out in the middle of the ocean that's churning up the ocean water. That's going to be pulled back towards the east coast, and you have the new moon, and you have the storm system that's going to be riding right over our area, and you have the rain. So all of that is going to culminate, and I believe that in the culprit areas like Manasquan Inlet, you'll see water in the streets. So we'll watch that closely. I don't think Saturday is an all-day washout. The rain should wrap up by late afternoon or early evening. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday all looking better. 43, 44, 48. Sunny skies, no issues there. Overnight low temperatures don't look to be extreme either. And that's great after waking up into the single digits for the past few days. Have yourselves a wonderful night. I'll see you a little bit later.